Hi everyone, my name is Matt, also known as Ucastra. Uh, and in these couple of videos I'm going to do today, I'm going to be trying to explain to you a lot about the system that is the Sun, the Earth and the Moon. And they're two very specific problems, which can be a little bit confusing, but actually I'm hoping that I can sort of illustrate how to, what they're actually like, and I can try to explain them in a nice easy way with some lovely pictures and some fun objects and trying to move things around a little bit. Uh, and these two problems are, what is a solar eclipse? And then I'm also going to do a video on why can we see the sun and the moon in the same sky at the same time. So I'm going to start with the second problem. So as you know, there's a sort of an idea if you play computer games or or you've been told as a kid or you've seen books and things like this. Sometimes they have this idea that during the day you see the sun and during the night you see the moon. And it's just kind of a, a well-known kind of you know idea that the sun comes up as the sun goes down the moon comes up and so you what which one you see it basically depends on whether you're in day or night but that is entirely not true it sounds very bad but it's 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 kind of a lie so the fact we see the stars at night the stars don't come out at night it's just that because the sun isn't there it's dark enough that our eyes can actually see the stars I mean the stars are always there during the day, but it's just the sun is so bright, their eyes are sort of blinded by this sun and we can't see the stars. But the moon is very different. I mean, I'm sure most of you have probably looked up during the day and seen the moon and just gone, but the thing on, so, you know, sometimes you think this is strange. I mean, the moon is at night time, the moon isn't for, you know, daytime, but there's nothing to do with sort of the day night cycle of where the moon is. Uh, and I'm trying to explain that to you now. So I'm just going to move the camera and I'm just going to show you something that I've set up very, very quickly. So I hope you can see me here. What I'm trying to do is try and use these three things to explain why we can see the sun and the moon in the same sky. So here I have my sun, here I have my earth, and here I have my moon. So first things first, I'm going to take away the moon and I'm trying to explain how the light from the sun reaches us here on earth. So say we have this observer here, this little black mark is on the earth. Now the light from the sun comes out in all directions here. So some of the light will come down like this and it'll hit the earth. Now as soon as it hits the earth it doesn't go through the earth and it can't bend around and hit the back of the earth. But what it will do is it will make this side of the earth, this half here, it will make this light. So you've got a little observer here with a little black mark, you're going to be in the daytime here and the sun is going to be directly ahead of you, I directly up in the sky. So this is basically the middle of the day. Now if you're on the back side here you're not going to see any of the sunlight. This side of the earth is all dark. So this is, you know, this is sort of 1 a.m., midnight, whatever kind of time it is. And what happens is the earth spins around on its axis like this. So after it spins halfway around, this guy that was in the daytime is now in the dark and vice versa. And at the quarter mark, so here and here, what happens is the sun is, this is basically sunset and sunrise. So the sunlight is just still getting these here, but you just turn it a little bit more and it's now got no sunlight. So the earth spins around its axis like this and it gets light and daylight. And the time it takes for it to go around all the way once is a day. But it also goes around the sun like this and it goes all the way around and comes all the way back here. And the time it takes to go all the way around the sun is 365 days, so that's one year. So while it's moving like this, it's also spinning, so it's spinning and moving like this. Which is very hard to try and explain. I'll try and do it at least. Okay, so now let's have the moon as well. So let's imagine a situation where the sun is here, uh, the earth is here, and the moon is here. Now what the moon does is it goes around the earth as well. So the earth goes around the sun, and the moon goes around the earth. So it will just go around and around and around like this. Now it also spins like this but it spins very slowly to the point where it makes sure that the same side of the moon always faces the earth. So it spins like this, and as it goes, it spins very, very slightly. This is just this is something called tidal locking. This basically just means that the same side of the moon always faces the earth. So let's imagine a situation like this, where the moon starts off here, and this observer is here, and it's facing the sun. Now he can see the sun, fine, but he can't see the moon. The guy on the back side of the moon here, he can see the moon, but not the sun. So this is the kind of, the idea that people have that, you know, you see the moon at night and you see the sun during the daytime. 
but if we just speed this through a little bit, so the Earth will spin a few times, the Moon will go around the Earth, and this will keep spinning like so. And we get to a situation here where after a certain number of spins, the observer here is looking straight at the Sun, and you can also see the Moon here. Now, let's imagine the Moon is directly in between the Sun and the Earth. And the light from the Sun is going to make this side of the Moon here really, really bright. All the light's going to hit here. But this side here won't have any light hitting it, so it'll be really, really dark. So in this situation, this guy, theoretically, when he looks up at the sky, can see the moon. The moon is up there. The problem is, is there's no light hitting it, and so it's really, really faint. There's just, it's not bright at all. So he won't actually be able to see it, because it won't be bright enough for him to see. But if we move the moon back over here somewhere, so it's a bit, there's an angle here, and how the triangle between these three, some of the light from the sun will hit the moon here. It'll make this side of the moon bright. And then the guy here on the earth can see this side of the moon brighten up. And therefore, he'll be able to see the moon and the sun in the very same sky. So this also happens when the sun is, when the moon is around here, when it's around here, even when it's, so as long as it's in this half, the guy who can see the sun can also see the moon. But obviously at this point here, the guy who can see the sun can't. But this guy around here, he can see the sun, at uh, the moon, but he can't see the sun. Now, explaining this situation here, I said you wouldn't be able to see the moon, because only this side of the uh, moon is lit up by the sun, and this side, where we'd see it, isn't. But actually, this is also an interesting situation, because this can be a solar eclipse, because the light from the sun tries to reach us here on Earth, and it tries to go all the way in here to here. The light gets to here, and then it hits the moon, and then it can't go any further. So what it does is it actually creates a shadow that's here on Earth. But I'm going to do another video in a minute, and you can see that, and that explain a bit more on how a solar eclipse works. But this is kind of the idea. So depending on where the moon is, you'll be able to see it, whether you can also see it in the sun, and you can also see how bright it is. So this kind of puts to bed the idea that the sun is for the daytime, and the moon hope is at the nighttime, and hopefully you understand that these two things are actually the same, that because this spins at a different speed, this goes all the way around, you can have lots of combinations. This can be facing the sun, the moon can be here, 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 it can be anywhere around here. And when he's here, this can be anywhere the way around. So there's an infinite number of positions that the moon and the earth can be in. It all just depends on, on time, basically, and how they go around each other. So sometimes you can see the sun when you can see the moon, sometimes you can't, it just depends. Uh, I hope that kind of explained the problem uh, and tried to clear up a little bit for you. Uh, I'll do another video, as I said, on solar eclipses, which hopefully will be really useful. You can um, learn a bit more about that and try, try and explain how nice and easy it is and really simple. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments, any questions or anything. I'll try to answer them for you and I'll see you guys soon.